Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, I just want to share you something which I discovered, which I noticed yesterday when I was working with my Mongo shell. And MongoDB, Mongo Atlas, they are providing some free monitoring for your deployment. So it's quite easy. I'm going to start a MongoDB container and there's a, uh, when you connect to the MongoDB container using your Mongo shell, um, I just noticed uh, a free monitoring uh, thing that popped up which um, I was trying and it worked okay. So it gives you like last 24 hours of uh, monitoring for your uh, MongoDB instance. Okay, let's start a MongoDB container. I'm running MongoDB uh, in a daemon mode. I'm running the Docker image in the daemon mode, binding 27017 to my host board, giving it a name and creating a Docker volume for persistence and starting the Mongo container. Docker PS, that's running fine. So now I can connect to this uh, MongoDB container and I've got Mongo shell installed. Mongo minus minus version. I'm on version 4.0.8. And if I just do Mongo, since it's running on my local host, I can just connect to it, no authentication or anything. Okay, there you go. So I was doing this for quite a long time and I didn't actually notice this uh, text here. It says enable free MongoDB free cloud-based monitoring service which will then receive and display metrics about your deployment like disk utilization, CPU operations, and there are a few other things that you can monitor. Um, it's not a complete monitoring solution, just to give, uh, give the uh, MongoDB Cloud a try. And uh, let's see what things we can monitor. So to enable monitoring, all you have to do is, once you're connected to the uh, MongoDB container, just run db.enable free monitoring. And then at any time, if you want to disable, just db.disable free monitoring, that's it. So when you do this command, it's going to give you an, a unique URL to your deployment. No password protection or anything, no authentication. You can share that URL with anyone. So anyone can access the uh, monitoring data. Okay, let's do that. db.enable free monitoring. That's it. So now it has given me the this unique URL, so which I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it in my terminal. Sorry, a web browser. So opening the opening up the web browser, and all right. So pasting it here. I think I lost my uh, clipboard content. So if you want to uh, look at the monitoring URL, just log into your Mongo container, and it will give you the uh, monitoring URL. As long as free monitoring is ena enabled, whenever you log in, you will get this uh, URL. Copy that link and paste it here. Okay, and that's our monitoring. Welcome to your free monitoring dashboard. Okay, so granularity is one minute and um, chart time range is one day. So it can only monitor the last 24 hours, no historic data or anything. Keep track, of, uh, keep track of your deployment in near real time, okay? Learn more about each graph. All right, so if you click on that graph, it should pop up with some information. Okay, that's good. All right, so uh, there we go. We've got some helpful information here. So that's the uh, metrics. System CPU usage, uh, read operation, query targeting, read operations per second. I'm not doing any operations on my MongoDB at the moment. So that's operations, read, and if you click on the little eye information icon here, it gives you some details about uh, the metrics, the legends that are uh, being monitored. Click and drag on a chart to zoom to a specific time range if you want. I can do that. So operation, execution time, disk utilization, uh, documents returned, inserted, updated, deleted, memory, network input, output, op counters and if I click on the op counter you can look at the individual details insert get more command okay what else so we've got query targeting queues system CPU usage and if I want to look into a specific time range I can just um, highlight that portion of the graph and it's going to expand and show you a detailed information but the granularity is uh, as they say it's one minute granularity and chart time range is one day. All right, so that, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you in this video. I just noticed this a uh, few times. Uh, so it might be helpful or might not be helpful. 
and bear in mind the URL that you get is a uh, is a simple URL, no authentication, no password protection. So anybody with the URL will be able to look at your metrics. All right. Thank you so much for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.